Hey guys, welcome to Car Guy 1999 reviews as well as Quirk Auto Dealers. Today we have the 2021 Subaru WRX STI Limited. This one has the lip spoiler, not the massive wing. Uh, total price of 42,870. Uh, lapis, yeah, lapis blue pearl. So it's not World Rally Cross blue. It's a little bit darker, and in my opinion, it looks a lot better. Uh, you don't see this color very often. You'll always see like the rally clock cross blue, black. You don't see this color all that often. Red seat belts, of course. These things are awesome. I love them. I, of course, just stepped out of the WRX. So, obviously familiar with the platform but it's also completely different it's a whole different drivetrain under the hood turbocharged boxer four cylinder pushing out what is it 310 horsepower something like that just over 300 horsepower I should say these things are awesome. Oh yeah. Love the green calipers too. What are the what are these riding on? Yokohama Advanced Sport V105s. Pretty nice summer tire. Cobalt. That 2.5 liter boxer four cylinder. <laughs> oh, I love these things. Very short throws. All right, so right now it's in sport. You push it for intelligent. We'll do sport sharp. The clutch is a little finicky at first, um, but I've driven it for probably a couple laps of the loop perfectly used to it Brakes are phenomenal too. I mean, pedal feel, it's awesome. They didn't give you guys much room there, did they? Probably my mistake though.
One thing that's a huge difference between this and the WRX is the power delivery. The STI, the boost comes on a little bit later. I would say about a thousand RPM higher. It's almost like the WRX is more for around town driving. That's what it's kind of built to do. Whereas this, you can tell it's a very track focused powertrain. Um, still tons of fun to drive on the street, but the, the boost is not immediately there. You kind of have to dig for it just a little bit more than the WRX. Personally, that makes me like this a little bit more. Uh, it's just, it feels a little bit more special. And I think if you drive both, you'll definitely agree that the STI definitely has a lot more of a track car feel to it. When I first started looking at these, because I almost bought, I almost bought a WRX. Come on, give me, there we go. So when I first started looking at these, I was like, yeah, there's no reason to buy an STI. But the more I drive them, the more I disagree. are well worth the jump if you can afford it oh go for it because it is so worth it I'm very curious to try out the new WRX and the new STI once they start getting delivered because I have a very good feeling they will be just as good. Boost really doesn't come on until about 3,000 RPM, whereas in the WRX, if you mat it at two, it will start to give you a little bit of boost. There it is. Three and a half. Three and a half is the peak where it really starts giving you power. about 1700 RPM, it's that typical boxer rumble. Because this is the old block. The WRX, normal WRX, has a completely new engine block from the previous generation. This retains the unequal length headers that give it that distinctive boxer sound. And oh boy, what a sound it is. I love this car. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one.